Wind has become more cost competitive. Wind is installed in 39 states of our nation and we have 66 gigawatts of installed capacity. The turbine technology has advanced so greatly over the past few years that the South is now the next frontier for the wind industry. Taller towers reach better wind speeds and longer blades means more production of power. And by doing that, you can actually reduce the cost of energy. As you go higher in elevation, the actual wind is better itself. And what we found is as we went to higher elevations, the center part of the country where wind is actually seen to be very cost competitive today, started expanding to the east and the west. And the new maps show that you can actually have cost competitive, viable wind in every single state of the union. The work that DOE has done really galvanizes the industry to develop new turbine technologies, larger rotors, taller towers, smarter controls, and we've already seen many announcements of those types of turbine innovations. But it also gets the states excited about the potential that they may not, not have realized that they had. And that's not just the people that live in the states, it's also the people that regulate the utility environments and, and purchase the power in those states and the, the government officials that work in those states. So it really gets people excited and lets them know that wind can provide a solution to some of the things that they may need to address in the future. Now we have wind prospectors in each one of our states across the South, which even just a few years ago, you wouldn't have had that case. It is a huge untapped potential. We've shown that we can do this in 39 states. I think we can show that we can do it in all 50.